The Iron Claw, Movie of the Year. My brother and I just got back from seeing Aquaman 2, Captain Planet Saves the Climate. <laughs> just kidding. We went to see a real movie about family, The Iron Claw. The story of the Von Erich wrestling family from Texas is not about wrestling. That's just the backdrop. It's about family and the love that these brothers shared for one another. I had no idea that Zac Efron was even in the movie until the closing credits. He disappears into the role as the brother who marries and settles down to raise a family. The wrestling boys all try to please their father, Fritz von Erich, the actor's performance of which was so frightening I really believed I was watching their father push them into the wrestling world. Was Fritz von Erich a villain? He wanted his boys to succeed where he had fallen short in the professional wrestling world. There are some wrestling bits that brought back fond memories for me as a teenager growing up in the 80s. Actually, I should point out that's the 1980s for the young kids. The 1980s was a time where anything could happen in pro wrestling. Sometimes an actor is cast for their ability to be the man. Watch the awesome promotional video cut by the actor playing NWA champion Ric Flair. It was a tour de force of showmanship, even if you could tell the guy looked nothing like the nature boy. The movie tossed aside all Hollywood cliches about a family's biopic. They introduced Zac Efron's girlfriend, and I thought she would end up seducing one of the other brothers. It's not that kind of movie. Every time the brothers would have a disagreement, I thought we'd see a silly Oscar moment blow up fight where the boys would feud and not talk to each other. Instead, the brothers would nod their heads together and show what was important to them. A remarkable film. A24 did a tremendous job bringing this family's story to the big screen. You have to see this in the cinema. It's heartbreaking and moving at the same time which is extremely rare for movies in 2023. There's no Time's Up woke inserted Hollywood messaging in the screenwriting for this movie. That is quite surprising, as Studio A24 is the same company bringing you the election interfering movie Civil War just in time for the 2024 presidential election. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> Looks like an Elton John American in those sunglasses. Go see The Iron Claw. This should win Movie of the Year. It should beat out Oppenheimer for Picture of the Year. And the entire cast should be up for their own awards. I predict this movie will gain box office revenue from week to week. As word of mouth spreads that this is a movie about family and brothers taking care of one another. Something all too rare in movie making these days. The Iron Claw is a film where you can see all of the care and attention of those making the movie as it was put up on the screen. It's that good. This is why you believe in the magic of film. Go see it.